guys welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title today i'm going to be doing a, another curls queen hair review the last time that i worked with them i got this really long black beautiful clip in but as you can tell from this video my hair is a lot shorter um, so i was a little bit scared to pick something that length again because i know i'd have to modify it so this time i did get the same type of clip ins it's just going to be with some color you'll see a little bit later but i did end up cutting the clip ins obviously because as you can see my hair is now a lot shorter and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to blend in but today is just going to be a little review and then I'm just going to show you guys how I would clip the clip-ins into my hair. This is the bag that Curls Queen sent me. It came in this gold kind of drawstring bag. When I pull it out there is a Ziploc bag and then inside you can see the clip-ins. This is the clip-ins. As you can see, it's kind of black with these dark brown highlights in it. And this is kind of what I wanted because you know my hair is black, but I did want to try putting in a little bit of color into my hair. So that's what this is. The hair is very soft in my opinion. I think it matches, feels just like how my hair would feel. As well in the bag, it came with some extra clips for the clip-ins just in case, I don't know, one of the clips fall out. They were also kind enough to send me these really cute gold pins. It's a bit shimmery. I thought that was really cute. And then they also sent at the top here, it looks like sewing string, I guess, to sew the clips back into the hair if need be. I don't know how to do that, so I will not be using that. And then this is what I kind of wanted to show you. So I showed you the hair that's here. That is the hair that's actually still long. I didn't cut that, but I did already take a few pieces enough pieces that I think would fit into my head, my hair, and I've already cut them to kind of match my length hair. So you guys will see that a little bit later. And this is basically the length that I cut them at. I didn't do anything crazy. I kind of just put it in and cut with my hair. So that's basically all I did, but I just did it the best that I thought I could do. So I'm just gonna read the exact specs of the hair just so you know exactly what I ordered. The hair length is 14 inches, but obviously, like I said, I did cut it to match my length. The hair type is premium Brazilian virgin hair, I and mean, it could last at least six months or even longer if you take good care of it. The hair texture is light yaki silk press. That seems to work best for my hair type because my hair kind of blow dries and straightens kind of in that way in a silk press way so I think this matches me best. That is basically all of the specs. Let's just jump to the bathroom and I can kind of show you guys how I would apply this into my hair and just FYI before we start I'm going to be doing a straight look. I don't think I'll be doing a curly look with these extensions because my hair right now is just fighting me because it's so hot so i don't think i'll do a curly look this is my natural hair it's not permed i've never permed my hair it's just a regular blowout my hair right now is about two days old since the last wash so you can kind of see that it's really quite bouncy but like i said before it is very very hot right now in germany about 90 degrees and every second that i stand here my roots are curling up and getting a little bit difficult and i'm only going to be using about this much of the extensions just because my head is not that big and I normally don't use that much clip-ins and I did end up cutting some of these because the ones that were with five were actually just way too big my head is not that big so I have to cut it to make it four so I'm just using one two three four I normally just part my hair with my fingers just in the back so just a little bit like that, there's no rhythm or rhyme. I just part it to how I feel, no comb needed there. Then I kind of just put it into my hair and that's basically it. Since I've already cut this to kind of match my hair, you can already tell that I'm just going for a fuller look. I'm just taking the next clip in, which is also a three clip, just because again, the back of my head is not that, that big.
So I just went through again and recut some of the pieces of the hair because it was not matching my hair. And now I think I'm basically finished. I quite like how it looks. I will say though that I cannot really see the color because I'm not using that much clip-ins that you will be seeing the color so vibrantly. But the clip-ins does its job by adding, you know, a lot more volume to my hair, which is what I like. And these days I'm more or less not really curling my hair. I'm kind of just leaving it straight and letting it fall however it falls. And so right now it's just giving me this natural curl at the bottom of my hair, which I really, really like. It gives be kind of like a 70s look and I love it so I would basically call it a day after this I love the look I love that it gives me a much fuller look obviously it's a shame that I really can't see much of the color from the actual clip-ins because it's just hidden so far away within my hair it still blends really really nicely into my hair and I will be using this on occasions where I feel like I just need a little bit more volume so I do want to say a big thank you again to Curls Queen for sending me this hair. I really appreciate it. I'll be leaving here on the screen a discount code if you guys want to check out Curls Queen yourself. I'll also be leaving the hair details in my description bar below. Yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I will see you in a, another video.